Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Craig Price, who is from PCCW Global Limited. Craig, welcome to the studio. Thank you very much, Max. I appreciate the opportunity. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about uh, uh, MVNOs, Mobile Virtual Network Operators. Perhaps you could demystify what MVNOs are and what uh, role that, uh, they play in today's ICT landscape. Well, MVNOs have been around for a long time, essentially decades, I would think. Essentially, uh, and there's various different versions of an MVNO. Uh, typically, uh, an MVNO uses a mobile operator's infrastructure to supply a mobile service. And typically, they come in a couple of forms. And the two most common ones are a thick or thin MVNO. A thin MVNO would use the operator's infrastructure plus OSS, BSS, and then provide the service under a particular brand into a particular market. A thick MVNO would actually utilize its own OSS, BSS, uh, but still would address a particular market segment. And in terms of the key trends, what are the key trends to watch in the MVNO industry? I think MVNOs have been it's been, I think it's been a tricky market for a long time for MVNOs. They have to compete typically uh, in markets where they look for a particular market market niche. And market and the market niches essentially are there to drive a particular market segment um, uh, access or uh, in, or effectively increase in, uh, in, in subscribers. Uh, I think the same principles still apply for all MVNOs. Uh, and essentially the MVNO gaining access to that particular market or having that differentiation is really still the key to an MVNO success. What are the obstacles in the market and, and in this market and how might they be overcome? Well, in, in, in what market? Well, every market's a little bit different. So uh, uh, in, the, in the Africa market, I think it's, it's going to be hard work for the uh, MVNOs, but there's still an opportunity there. The, there's certainly the uh, mobile penetration is still way below global standards, um, and maybe there could be some niche markets that uh, the MVNOs could uh, could adopt. I, I would expect that there's some linkage now between uh, MVNOs and some of the uh, payment services that are now going into the market. So maybe an opportunity for new MVNOs is to link essentially the provision of a data service with a payment service and then, uh, then move into the market in, in, that, in that manner. And uh, what would you like to see out of regulatory environments? Well, I think uh, the uh, regulators uh, reducing their costs in terms of access into the market would probably be the best for, for um, uh, MVNOs. I think that MVNOs are, are fairly effective in terms of uh, infrastructure utilisation, so, but, it, but they can offer other services to, to customers. So I think regulators would really support MVNOs in the way they address the marketplace. And finally, what's the value for you of attending events such as ITU Telecom World? Well, certainly here in, uh, in Africa, it gives me a bit of flavour for what's happening in the African market. I, I, I have global responsibilities, so I see what happens in Southeast Asia. But coming to events like this, it, gives the opportunity to actually walk around, see the various country stands, and also talk to the various uh, entrepreneurs, because I'm always very interested to see what new ideas are coming out in, what, in different markets. And I think that uh, events like this effectively inspire me in terms of uh, thinking of, of ways of providing new services into the marketplace. Well, it's been great. Thanks very much for those insights. And uh, we look forward to catching up with you at some stage in the future. And, uh Enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you very much, Max. I really appreciate the opportunity. Cheers, Craig. Thank you.